Okay, welcome back, everybody. I should have got a warm up. Coffee and art. <laughs> yes, you're in my romper room, Donna. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to color a little bit and I think it's been it's been interpreted or told to me by uh, at least 10 different people 10 different names for this book but it's something to do like after the dream or after I woke up from the dream but it's the Polish book by Carolina Kubankowska and it's K-A-R-O-L-I-N-A K-U-B I K O W S K I. And um, you're going to have to probably look around for it because somebody just said it's sold out. Um, I don't know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, okay. So let me go ahead and start coloring. I'm coloring this with some washes with Neo Color. So, some Neo Color 2. Um, this set that I've had, I've had Neo Colors. The, this set, um, it, yeah, it's from my birthday, like three, maybe four years ago. They they last forever. They last a long, long time. The other side of sleep or the other side of a dream. Yeah, one of those. It's the other side of something. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I'm going to go ahead. I might work on both these pages or just one. They both have the mushrooms. I'm just, I only have a limited amount of time today. I have errands to run today. So if you missed the first part of my show, I did a whole birthday haul. And if you didn't see me read uh, Janet and the girls' little zine, Janet made this zine. I do have it posted on on Twitter under Inky Well, if you want to read that up close. Oh my gosh, it's hilarious. So thanks everybody. Um, so anyway, I feel a sneeze coming on. Hang on guys. Oh, 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 oh. <coughs> excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. And uh, so yeah, so I think we're going to start on this. Oh, let me show you some of the pages I've already colored. Um, <clears throat> And, and some of the pages, she's already got a little bit of watercolor. This is already on there. Okay? That's already on there. And then this is already, like, brown craft paper, kind of with, uh, uh, so we're going to go to a couple different ones here that we've worked, started working on. These two have washes on. Again, thanks, guys. I'm going to, uh, it's just got a little bit of wash, not a lot of shading, uh, so what color books are you guys working on? I always like to ask, what are y'all working in? While I'm kind of flipping through this one. I've done a complete flip through, but I'm just going to kind of show some of the pages that I've worked on. So if you can say uh, what books you guys are working in. Put them in caps, guys. If you're, if that's the thing. If you're wa if you're watching here in uh, UStream Live, please put your comments in chat and caps, because it rolls by so fast, guys. And when I'm trying to do a project or do a show and tell and talk to you guys, if you don't have it in caps, it's probably going to roll by. Um, also, if you're watching on UStream, thanks everybody for watching over there. I appreciate it. I am talking to a live audience, not just talking to myself. Thanks, Orla. Um, so Faye's working in Enchanted Forest. I'm going to flip while uh, I'm, I'm reading. Enchanted Forest, Impatiently Waiting on Daydreams, <laughs> which is out for delivery. Uh, the Dragon Book. Yeah, Laura, I'm, I'm looking for, I'll get, I ordered Bennett Klein's Dragon Book. It should be in here in this week. Um, Jay Love is working on the artist edition of Secret Garden. Uh, color Your Own Masterpiece. They're going by fast, guys. Hannah Lynn, Daydreams, Bennett Klein, Secret Garden. Um, <clears throat> another Bennett Klein. A, hobby mo a Hobbit movie trilogy book. Oh, that sounds fun. Uh, the Young Marvel. Uh, another Joanna, Johanna Basford. Carol, and you're, somebody's working in this one, too. Painterly Paint, you working in this one? Uh, Dr. Seuss, Anamorphia, Terry Pratchard, Color Book, Midnight Garden, Paisley Book, and Julie Topaz, the Paisley Book, Magical Jungle, uh, Images by Grace, by Jackie Grace, 
Bennett Klein, Characters, Daydreams, Harry Potter, Imagimorphia, Colin Thomas, Colin Thomas, Colin, Colin Thomas, Sons. Yeah, a lot of the people are working in Colin Thomas's book. So, Steampunk Fashions, Waiting for Colin Thompson's, Colin or Colin, I'm not sure how you pronounce his name, German uh, book. Um, Follow Your Dreams. So, yeah, welcome back, Terry. <laughs> so, yeah, so those are some of the color books that people are working in. Thanks, everybody. So, this is the book. It's it's an easy book to put washes on because of all the black, uh, sharp, you know, heavy lines, the thick black lines. It's very easy to do washes in this book. More Imagine Morphia, Doodlers Anonymous, A to Z of Creative Coloring. I'm just still reading the chat, all the names of the books everybody's coloring. So you can see, I don't think coloring books are going away anytime soon. And like I say, guys, um, they are great practice. They're great uh, for, to learn color combinations, shading, um, all kinds of um, ways to improve your art. <clears throat> Did I get my pens? Or Orla, are you the one that sent me the Poscas? I got two Posca orders that were unknown. I showed them last hour, actually an hour and a half, and uh, yeah, I didn't know who sent me the pause because I got two orders. I got the colors and then a separate order for some white and some, a silver and a gold. So, did you send me one of these, Orla? Is that what you're saying? Da, 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 da. Okay, well, I got two separate orders. I don't know if you sent me one or both. But thank you, Miss Orla, Angel Orla. We were wondering who sent those. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Thank you so much. Yeah, we didn't know who. I'm going to start coloring while we're talking. We didn't know who sent them. You sent the white and the mixed. Thank you. Okay, so let's see here. I think I'm going to have a nice, pretty blue eye here. So I'm, I'm go just going to pull right from my Neo Colors here. And uh, let's see. Let's go with a nice blue. I'm just going to pull right off the tip here. Oh, I need a Kleenex to clean my brush in between. Let's grab a Kleenex. To me, a Kleenex works the best to clean off your brush because a Kleenex like just pulls off the pigment off of a water brush. Now again, you can use these more than one way. You can, um, you can scribble them down. Let me show you on a tray here. You can scribble them down on a tray and pick it up for a more watercolory effect like this where you can just pick up a little bit at a time. Okay, a little bit at a time. Or you can go with directly right off the crayon and get it even a little darker or you can even color with them. I rarely color with them and then wet them because you then you have to like try to blend out any any pencil marks if, if crayon marks if you will and these are Neo Color 2 water soluble crayons if they're num they're the uh, Neo Color 2 Neo Color 1s are not water soluble. Let me show you the cover of this just so you know here. <clears throat> See how it says water soluble? Neo Color 2 water soluble. Neo Color 1s are not water soluble. So don't get the 1s if you want to use them as watercolors. Okay? All right, so I'm going to get in here. Again, guys, put them in caps if you want me to see what you're saying, please. All right, so I am going to go ahead and do a nice blue eye. And the thing about it, again, because there's so much heavy, dark black lines, it's so easy to do a big area at once, right? So, and I think I'm going to go ahead and do his tear in blue, too. 
Not that tears are blue, but you know, you're the boss of your color book. You can do whatever you want. Like that. <clears throat> okay. And um, usually in the back, what I've been doing, this has some like cloudy, smoky thing here going on. Let me just kind of pick that up there where I kind of dabbed it. Um, this has like some kind of foggy, misty stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and use the same blue to make it all cohesive. I'm going to go ahead and do like a blue wash. And her paper, it's not textured. The paper's not textured in this book, but it, it's photographed. It's um, The photograph is textured paper. So it, it's not showing up on camera, but it's a, it looks like a photograph of watercolor paper. So you kind of get the vibe of it being a watercolor paper. And I'm just going to kind of go all over here. Um, you kind of get it be as a vibe of being a watercolor paper, but it's not. The other thing, when you're working with a lot of watercolor, and I say this every time, make sure you let it dry between layers because you don't want, this is not true watercolor paper. So if you don't um, let it dry between layers, you can go right through your book. You'll peel, you'll break down the paper, and then it'll go through. Although this papers, this pages are pretty thick. They're pretty thick, okay, but it, it doesn't matter. If you break down the paper, it's the water that's going to go through your paper, uh, your page, right? So you want to kind of do it in, in stages. You want to do your watercoloring in stages. I'm just going to kind of feather it out a little there. <clears throat> All right, same thing for down here. I want it darker down here along the edge of the... It comes like a smoky, cloudy look. I'm not sure, you know, because it's the dream, right? <laughs> and so just remember, though, after you dry it or let it dry, I just use a heat gun to dry it but after it's dry you can add another layer but do it you know do it uh in dry layers so you don't ruin your done your paper doesn't go through your paper you know what i mean Vern? <clears throat> somebody's i don't even know where, where is my ipad i lost my ipad somewhere. <laughs> how often do you change your Pentel, change out the brush? You mean go to get a new brush? Right now I'm using the smallest nib. I have them in all the different size nibs. This is the small, a small one. I don't know if it's the smallest one, but you can see the size of it there. They, I've only, to, in all the color booking that I've done over the last, what, year? Um, I've, this is my second one in this size. I've only wore out one. I've wore out one. If that's what you mean, Dinelle. How often does it, like, how often do you have to replace it? Not very often. All right, so I'm kind of liking that little bit there. Now, she also has these, like, you know, kind of splotches that kind of go in a direction and I've been kind of just kind of rolling with that you know if she has a, a, a direct going like that I just kind of roll with whatever the direction she has there that answers your question okay good all right so I'm gonna let that sit up for a minute I'm just gonna put my uh, crayon down there for a minute and see what else all right now I think I'm gonna go in with the ferns and I think I'm gonna kind of use Hmm, what kind of green do I want? Do I just want to, I don't, I use olive green so much, but I love me some olive greens. Okay, I can't not use olive green. <laughs> I can't not use the olive green on these ferns. And the first, remember the first layer here is very light, just like it is in any watercolor. 
It's very light, pale. Um, a pale green until you put the second layer on. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to do these. I think I'll do most of the ferns here and the leaves. And I can add, a, you know, another color in with them. Like on that one with the cat, I think I added green and red. But you gotta let it gotta be careful. You don't want to make brown. I mean, unless you want to make brown. But on the cat, which I'll go over there here in just a minute, I added another color, so I can add some yellow into this and make them like, you know, a couple of shades of green. So it's not like just a flat green. Although there's nothing wrong with that. You can just once it dries, go in here and add another layer. <clears throat> I'll show you the cat one here in just a second. Okay, go down here. If you have any questions, put them in caps. Bye, Mom and everybody else that's coming and going. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out for my birthday haul. Yeah, I have a I have some errands to run today, so I won't be able to stay in for more until about forty five more minutes. I have to leave at twelve, so I usually leave. I usually stay till one. But uh, today I'm going to leave a little early. So we're just going to work on some washes and just see how far we get. This book is, I'm really not working on any particular page. I'm just kind of going through the different pages. So you'll just, in this book anyway, you'll just see me working randomly in this book without like being a series, so to speak. Uh, it's easier for me to do that with lots of books if I don't have to continue on a certain page, just kind of continuously work in it. Somebody else asked me about when I'm going to get back to Imagimorphia, and I have it set out. So if you were one that's been wanting me to get back to Imagimorphia uh, I, and, and Anamorphia, I am uh, planning on getting back to those. Have no fear. So many color books, so little time. Okay, so there's just a first um, little bit of wash of green. Okay. Um, Melody, her new book, Ticket to Dreams, could only be available in, at um, on her eShop, okay? And will not be sold on Amazon. Um this girl's book, Melody, is it hers? Uh, Carolina Kubakowska. Uh, somebody said that her book is only going to be on her Etsy. Right? Etsy or eShop? Or is that, are you meaning the same thing? So, yeah. You all have, if, you, if you Google it, guys, you'll be able to find it, I'm sure. I mean, you know, where she's selling it, the different books. Okay, so there we go. Got a little bit of a wash on there. Thanks, Melody. Yeah, I appreciate that. Okay, so... Uh, oh, I want to show you the cat where I had a couple different um, leaf colors in one leaf. So, see, I have like a yellow ochre and a green. So, they're just kind of mixed together to give the leaf like a variegated... Uh, color to it eShop and her link okay eShop and her link okay I don't know what eShop she has I guess just put in her name and you can find it okay so now I'm going to think on the mushrooms here I'm thinking I might want them orange or a sienna like this is um, what color is this one It's called English Red. It's like a sienna. It's like a burnt sienna color. And I think I'm going to do the um, I'm going to do the uh, mushrooms in a sienna color. Okay. 
and I'm not following any kind of like in other words all the mushrooms in the book are not going to be this color there they can be various colors although on the double page spread here I'll probably do these mushrooms I'll do the tops of them I'm going to do the tops of them in this sienna but I'm going to do the underside in a totally different color I think that'd be kind of cool a cool look because you don't see the bottoms of them on this one very much just a tiny tiny bit so I think we'll do that so anyway guys I hope you all enjoyed my birthday haul video that we just got done doing and all the ideas that we have for the coming year with watercolors, Copics, art projects. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to do many different projects. Many different projects. Along with the continuing with our color book and uh, sketchbook, you know, drawing some drawings and putting some of those up on the blog. Okay, let's see, got a couple little toppers here. So again, this is just the first layer. It will be fun. Yeah, Copics and every other thing. Yeah. And I, you know, I'm I'll be learning it from the start because I'm not a Copic gal. I I got a few tips from Cameron, but um I don't that's it. That's all I, you know, I'm, I've got some uh, lesson things and some book things and, of course, videos and lots of, you know, information. So, but it takes time to do all that, right? It takes time. And, uh, you know, y'all know how many other things I do plus my commission work. So, yeah. Hey, Vicky BR. Do I miss you coming in? No, this month, artist, this month, I'm not, I, I don't like to plan an exact date because things happen and sometimes, you know, I don't like people to think, oh, she's going to start this on this exact date and then something comes up and I can't, I don't do that, yeah, yeah, it'll be this month. <laughs> I'll show y'all things as I'm learning them too, just like I showed the, well, I won't do it now, um, those Copic little practice things I did that I showed last uh, video. All right, let me go back to my green and blue again because since I'm doing this as a double page, I want to go ahead and do the same greens and blues. The new Carolina book was kind of exclusively made for Czech and Polish market. So if anyone needed help ordering it. Okay, well, I'm not going to say that on a video, Dasha, because I can't connect, link you to the, the recording. So if you want to tell the girls in chat, that information yeah feel free to help the girls out if you um, so desire okay now let's go back to the blue again clean my brush off and I'm going to go back this is just like I did the blue here I'm going to do that up here <clears throat> we need Jess here to help with Copics <laughs> I don't know. Jess doesn't seem to be on Ustream anymore. I don't know. Maybe she's just busy with her, you know, she's got her little boy. She might just be too busy to be on Ustream anymore. I don't think she streams anymore. So, yeah. I see her on Instagram every now and then. She'll post a card or something. But I don't think she streams anymore. If she does, she does it on hours that I don't know about. So, yeah. you know and I have to say guys when I'm going to be doing the Copics I mean I am going to you know practice on some you know line work I want to do my own ink you know my own drawings for uh, to practice on um I don't make cards so and I don't I, I don't I mean I can't say I don't stamp anything but I don't stamp things to color so when you see me practicing my Copics it's probably going to be on my own line art and uh, not stamps and not cards. So you can, you know, you can use anything I learned to try to uh, adjust it to, well, yeah, I thought maybe I was out of, almost out of water, to what you're doing. But I'm not making cards or anything like that, guys. Just saying. Just saying. Oh, she does some on YouTube. Okay, thanks, Sherry. Um, okay, see, I didn't know any of that, Sherry. Thank you. 
yeah, did not know any of that. Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and swirl this around kind of in the direction of her little dots, you know, and then I think I'll just kind of somehow connect these two here like that. Like these pages kind of come together. And I'm just swirling some, swirling some around here, guys. No particular anything. Needs a little more coming from behind there, I think. Okay, now we've got to let this dry or hit it with the heat gun before. Um, we'll use some on your color books. Um, here's the thing about using them in color books. I, if I use Copics in color books, um, I'm going to have to, it'll depend on the paper. It'll have to be a one, if I'm using it actually in a color book, it'll have to be in a one-sided color book because Copics will go through anything, right? So it'll have to be either in a one-sided color book or I'll have to make a copy on a piece of cardstock. So, yes, I'll do some in color books, either one-sided or I'll copy a page and use, um, use it on cardstock or something like that. Does that make sense? Because Copics go through everything, except the, except the uh, render paper, which I did an example for y'all. Where'd that go? Let me show you. The render paper? Where's the pad? This paper right here, Copics does not go through. And so while I was in the car on the way, on the drive home, I did a little sketch uh, with a couple of the Copics that I bought. And I just, you know, took two greens, just playing with a couple greens, and I just drew a little piece of line, you know, a little line thing here. And just to see if it would go through. Bam! This does not go through. For you photocopy? Okay. I, yeah, I don't have any chameleon pins, Bunny. Um, yeah. So that does not go through. This is the render paper. I got this at um, the Blick actual store. You can get it online, too. It's by Crescent. It's 9 by 12 And I think it was on sale when I got it for $12.99. $12.95, something like that. And I also had a 40% off coupon. So, yeah, I used my coupon on this, I think. I think it was this one I used a coupon on. How much tooth does this paper have? None. No tooth at all. It's slick. It's thicker than it's thicker than like copy paper. I'd say it's probably about a 60 weight. Um, I don't know if it says on here. It says a hundred okay, let's let's it says it's a hundred and ten. It's not the same thickness. Hundred and ten cardstock from like staples. Let me get a sheet of that. This is a sheet of 110 cardstock from Staples. This is what they're saying is 110 uh, on here. Thinner. This 110 is much thicker. This is cardstock. This 110 from Staples. This that they're calling 110 is not as, it's, this is more like maybe 90. And I'm guessing, guys, but it's not as thick. It's not as thick as the Staple cardstock. Okay, but that's what they're saying. They're saying it's 110, but it's not as thick as the Staples cardstock. No tooth at all. It's slick. I mean, it's not like, um, it's not like vellum slick, but it's, there's no texture at all. No texture. Um, yeah, I've got every kind of, yeah, marker paper is real smooth, but it even goes through that. I showed, um, where did I put it here? We're off track. We're on a rabbit trail. Here's all the papers that I have to test it out yet, which I haven't done yet. I have the Copic paper, the actual Copic paper. That is like marker paper. It's thin. It's thin, but it's made for Copics. It goes through. It'll go through, but it's, um, it's made to blend easy, okay? I have the Pen Sketchers B paper. I have copy paper. I have the render paper, which I just showed you. I have a Strathmore 500 Bristol. That's like the best Bristol that Strathmore has. Then I have the Staples 110 cardstock. And then I have the Strathmore Bristol Smooth. Okay, so I'm going to be trying all of these. 
Okay. But not today. <laughs> not today. Because I'm I don't have any time. Yeah. So those are the papers that I have to test things out on. All right, so now let's see. This is still wet here. I want to decide what color I want the under the stems and the underside of the um, the uh, mushrooms to be. Yeah, if y'all have any questions, put them on. Put them in caps. I think I'm gonna go with the. Um, do I want a yellow ochre? I think I want a ye yellow. Ochre. I'm keeping this like my colors that I love. Y'all know. All right, so I'm gonna go with the yellow ochre for the stem. For the little. Uh, tops, the little little bumps. <laughs> and I'm going to put another layer. This is going to be darker. This is just the initial wash, which you have to let dry in between watercolor on color book paper. Color book papers, unless it's specialty paper. Um, paper. Add Broden and Riley Parish Pad. Where do you get that? Uh, where do you get it? Uh, Azure Muse. Can you get it on Amazon? <clears throat> I'm writing it down. Broden and Riley Paris paper. Paris paper. Yeah, mushroom warts. Yes, that's right. Mushroom warts. <laughs> Everybody's saying mushroom warts. Um, do you get that on Amazon, Azure Muse? Okay, let's keep going now. Let's come over on this side. And I'm going to just put the initial wash again. Again, we you can add a, more washes. Let it dry in between. Or go in here with color pencils and shade and blend. This book, I've just happened to be doing watercolors with uh, either ink tints or neo colors because it just lends itself to nice big washes because of the big imagery and the black background. It's thick and very smooth bleed proof. Um, uh, Jess uses Nina, Nina in okay white cardstock. Okay, let me write that down too. N E E N A H Nina White Cardstock. Okay. Wrote both those down. Thank you, ladies. See, I'm not the only enablers around here. Okay, as your muse said, you get 40 sheets too. Oh, okay. In the um, Broden and Riley, Paris. Dee Dee, do you keep your printer ink from smearing? Um, a couple things. One, my Epson printer, my Epson Artesian, doesn't doesn't bleed that much. The ink in the Epson Artesian does not bleed. It's not like my HP. The oh, now this was like five, six, seven years ago. My HP would not uh, would 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 not uh, it would bleed uh, smear it would smear but they may have changed their formulation too in the last five or six years so I've only used my Epson Artesian and when I print it out on cardstock okay when I print it out on cardstock I don't have much of a uh, feathery you know moving of it of that ink with my Artesian ink uh, my Epson ink did that make sense? So I use the Epson Artesian printer with Epson ink on cardstock, and it doesn't move very much, maybe just slightly. And then I'd have to probably really get it really wet. But just, you know, a little bit of a wash, it doesn't move with the Epson ink. Um, yeah, and Janet says if you let that printer ink uh, set for a couple days, that helps too. Um, or I, you know, hit it with the heat gun. I don't. I do not spray anything. I don't fixative anything. But Janet did suggest that you could spray it with a workable fixative, and then you know work over that. Um, you know, again, it's going to depend on your paper, your ink 
what kind of water mediums you're using, how much water. It, it all depends. That's why I tell everybody, keep test it. You have to have test sheets, practice sheets. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and dry this with the heat gun. Heat gun. And it does buckle my paper just a little because there's so much water. It buckles it a little, but not enough that it bothers me or I even really notice. But if you don't like any buckling in your paper at all, then I would just recommend you don't even use watercolor on your color book pages because they will buckle. Some will be worse than others. Okay, time for another layer. So now I'm just going to do the mushrooms first because we're just like just showing up well. All right, so now I'm going to take the dark again, the uh, sienna color, and now I'm going to add, start adding another layer. Again, if you want a third layer, you got to let this dry before you put another layer because you're going to you're breaking down the paper. Okay, you're breaking down the paper with the water. Or you could just go in with on the on these other layers, go in here with color pencil and don't put more watercolor layers on either way. But gotta let them dry in between. Okay. Okay. If y'all have any questions, just ask. We'll do our best to answer them. Amongst, but between me and the hunter girls here that are like snapping turtles, they will they will help you and they'll answer your questions. Trust me, if you have a question and I don't know, then these girls, these girls can do it. They're on it. They're on it. They're all over it, <laughs> like a duck on a June bug, as we say in the south. <laughs> <laughs> and this is very relaxing i i actually really enjoy just you know watercoloring like this in these books because it's so relaxing i mean i know we hurry a lot here just to get things done on the show but this is one of the most relaxing of the color book uh, mediums to me just taking a Neo color and a and a water brush <laughs> and and just painting in layers and layers. Very relaxing. And these pages aren't so tiny. I mean, you can't really do this kind of work on, you know, those tiny mandalas and, you know, some of the tiny jo Johanna bass. You know, those little, little tiny things that you can only get in there with a gel pen. You can do a wash with this kind of thing. But, you know, you're not going to be able to paint little tiny, tiny details in any, I mean, you could, I guess, if you want to spend that amount of time. But those little tiny, tiny detail kinds, you know, this this is just a conducive color book to washes. You know, it's just a conducive to lots of uh, watercolor. Just the way that the layout is, the way the background is, all that. It just works well. Um, love to have watercolor and entire pictures very well. Yeah, it is very relaxing. All right, now I'm going to go in here with the ochre. I just clean my I just clean my brush off on a Kleenex. Okay, I'm going to go in here with ochre. And also, you know, so many color books already have the shading in there, so that when you color over it, it looks like you've done a lot of shading. You know, especially like in this book, there's just so many dark areas. You just wash over them. It looks like, wow, look at all those layers, <laughs> you know, you know, see all this dark right here. 
when you go another layer right over the top of that it looks like wow look at all that shading she did look how quick that was you know just bam and there's, there you go you know it's just like so quick and just looks like so much work and then I'll pull some out like that and you can always go back and add another you know let that dry and add more layers but it just like see, see see there's more true color right there see the hey Trina see the uh, it's more it's a it's a darker richer color the white of the paper but if I get it too dark then it's just too dang dark right um, but it does look a little uh, more vibrant in person than it does when you see a, a big white color book page. That's why I'm kind of tilting it for you every now and then. So, because the white of the page flashes out the camera some. So, there you go. See? See how much... It, that wasn't a lot of work, you know? Maybe a couple little streaks there. Thanks, Terry. Thanks, guys. All right, so now let's go back with the green. I think I'm going to go with a darker green olive now. No, what? Yeah, yeah, let's go, because I'm not going to have time to do too many other colors in here. All right, so like right down the middle of the leaf right here, just doing that much just gives you a shade in the in the center of the leaf. Just that much. Then you can kind of pull some out. You know, pull out a few uh, stems or veins, rather. But just doing that much, you've already got your shading. See? Let me see if I can show it on. Let me get some on here and hold the book up a little. All right, so like right here, watch this. See? Right down the middle. And then just kind of feather it out. Look, you got it. All your, your leaf is all shaded. See? Just that quick. Of course, you can add more, you know, you can go in there and add more, but that's how quick you can shade a leaf. If you get too much pigment, just pigment, just kind of wipe it off. So it doesn't take too long, just rolling some in there like that. You got another layer that quick. And kind of keep it kind of loose because it's a watercolor look. You want it kind of loose. At least I do. I want it kind of loose. I'm going to do the blue again here in a minute. Okay, let's go over here to this leaf here. And then get it right down the middle. And then just kind of pull it out. See, it's not very, it doesn't take a lot of time in this particular book. Let's go up here. Let me a little up here. Like that. There's that one little leaf right there. <laughs> Thanks, Melody. Thanks, guys. All right, now let's go in here with the blue. Add another layer on that. So now I'm going to be a little more particular where I'm putting the blue. So I have these like cloud layers, but again, just put some down and kind of blend it out. And there you go. Got another layer. Let's see. I think I'll add a little bit more down in here around this stem. Just kind of feather it out. Thanks, Sandra. I'm not sure Janet says she might not stream, so I don't know. You have to ask her. She, comes, she usually comes on at 1. I'm getting ready to leave here. It's almost 12, and I have errands to run today, so I can't stay very long today. But I hope y'all were able to 
hang out and see and I did record it and I'll upload it my um, birthday haul video and again thank you everybody that um, sent me gifts and cards and letters and notes and I'm gonna make that eye real blue I want it to stand out a little less I think on top there let's feather that out but I almost want his eye to be part of a cloud you know part of a And you can do this with any watercolor. It doesn't have to be neo color. It can be just a watercolor set. You know, any kind of watercolors. Or as some of these I've done with ink tints. So any kind of watercolor pencil, watercolor set, any of that. Got a great birthday. Thanks, Crackalackin. So, yeah. I showed a few pictures earlier when I was down at uh, down at the downtown Blick, and then we went to the Varsity. ate well, I didn't eat hot dogs. Hub Streets. He ate some chili dogs. I had my onion rings that I get every birthday. It's like my birthday treat. We hardly ever go down there, but when I do, it's got to the Varsity. When we do, I have to have my greasy onion rings. Yeah. Love those onion rings. Okay, so you can see I'm just adding a little bit of dark around some of the swirls there. And again, if you want even more, then all you have to do is let this dry and then add more. But let it dry so you don't, you know, go through, go through your page with the water. Know what I mean, Vern? Do it with pastel. Yeah, I don't like pastel. I think you already know that, Bunny. I don't like the feel of chalk. I don't do anything with pastel. Not that you can't, but I don't like pastels. I don't like the dryness. I don't like fixative. So that's three strikes for me. That's three strikes for me with pastels. Yeah. Okay. A little darker back in the between the leaves here. But there's it looks like another mushroom stalk or something there. Let's go back and put that in. Yeah, I don't like chalk either. <laughs> some you know it's just one of those things okay so let me tilt it there there you go so you can see a bit more of the color all right let me hit this and dry it real quick and we'll add one more layer and then we'll go just some little details like i got a little jewel down here Looks like maybe another little mushroom cap up here in the corner. Thanks, Kareem. Does it bother you to get outside the lines? Not on a water, especially not on a watercolor. No, it's almost like it. It does. It, it's almost like let me go out of lines. Yeah, no, not on this kind of thing. It does not bother me to get out of lines. Um, now, if I'm doing a Bennett Klein, where I'm practically using a pointy <laughs> needle pointed pencil you know and it's i'm very particular or something then i'm more particular but on a watercolor look it's like it begs to be flowy and wet it just you know it just it just wants to be that way okay <laughs> but that's a good question all right i'm going to go back with the blue again and again, you can do this with pencil if you want. You can add more uh, shading and layers with pencil. But if you use watercolor, dry in between. I, I know I say that over and over, guys. But I don't want anybody emailing me and saying, Oh my God, I used watercolor. Went right through. 
Well, how many wet layers did you use? Thanks, Margaret. How many layers of water did you use without drying it? You know, you, you got to, you got to, you know, be aware. Maybe a little darker right in behind some of these leaves. Gives it a little bit more depth behind the leaves there. And there's some little jewel things there. Just kind of painting over them right now. Some darker blue in here, here, here. <laughs> Watercolor has a mind of its own. It does, Eileen. I mean, you can whip that baby into shape a little bit, but yeah. You have to not... You can't, can't be afraid. If you, get, if you get a line or whatever. Fear will stop you from trying new things, experimenting with new things. Um you know, testing. What well, will happen if I just swish right there? Well, if you're so afraid, oh my God, I can't swish right there. You will never learn that that's a cool effect, right? You won't do it. You'll be too afraid. Fear not. You are the boss of your color book. <laughs> I can't say that enough. <laughs> And if you mess it up, it's like, come on, really? So what? Go to another page and try more experimenting. I mean, it's not like we're putting these things in the museums, for goodness sake. We're, we're, it's supposed to be fun and learning and new processes and experimenting. And what can I do with this? And what will happen if I do that? If you're afraid to try that, you will just be, you'll be sitting there coloring in the lines. You might as well just, you know, just get your... Well, you know, you you won't learn anything. You won't experience. You won't be. You'll be too afraid to experiment and try new things. You, you can't do that. Look, here comes my mailman. Yeah, my Amazon orders for my art books are not going to be here till later this week. Um. So yeah. But you do want to dry between layers because then you'll go through your pages. Just saying. I don't know. She hasn't. Uh, she wasn't sure. Dot. You'll have to get. She's. She's still here. You'll have to get with her. I don't know. She wasn't sure herself. Okay. So. There we go. So there's another layer of the blue. You can get in there and add some more here and there. Just make sure it's dry or go through. Okay, so now um, I think my mushrooms are dry. I haven't put anything over on top of them. Bye. Bye, for, uh, Fran. Thank you for being here. Another one more layer here of the sienna color. Again, if you don't like, you know, layering up with watercolor, then just, you know, use pencils. I That's my favorite uh, medium, color pencils. I'm not a watercolorist. I'm not a marker Copic girl yet. <laughs> but I'm going to play and learn Probably mostly because of Cam, because he loves him so much, and he can kind of show me and teach me what he knows, and and uh, and that way it pra he practices teaching himself. I showed y'all his um, portrait he's working on. His I, it's, I'm not sure if it's his art class or his art club. One of the two are doing. Um, drawing pictures or yeah 
draw, I don't know if they all have to use pencil or if they can paint or whatever they want to do. He's using color pencil in his case to do uh, the fifth grade elementary school kids. I'll show it again here if my camera, if my iPad doesn't flash out again. Let's see here. Let's see. Photos. Oh, and I forgot I need to go get my portrait of Boo and her friend that's downstairs because I'm going to give that to her this weekend. So um, it'll be my last chance to show the uh, original. Let's see. Did that? Oh, it's in my mail. I haven't saved it yet. Okay. Let me show you the... Uh... Here. Here's the picture he's working on of one of the fifth graders. And that's color pencil. That's my 17-year-old grandson. Yeah. I mean, this is his drawing. Not This is a drawing of a fifth grader. So, yeah. No, isn't it awesome, guys? Let's see if I can zoom in a little more. So, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go run and get some coffee real quick, guys. Let me go run and get some coffee, and I'll bring up that picture um, that I'm doing a boo. And then I'm going to stop this uh, video. We'll save this just so that y'all can kind of get an idea of some more stuff in the after the dream or after a part of the dream or after the... <laughs> anyway, it's uh, Carolina with a K, Carolina Kubakowska. And, uh, yeah awesome book so yeah let me go run and get that picture and then I will and some coffee and then I'm going to stop this video and I'm going to take my camera off the uh well actually I should just let me you know what real quick guy yeah because I want to show that picture of boo all right let me go get it I'll be right back Okay, so y'all know I normally only do commission work for one face per page, right? Uh, once in a while, in a blue moon, for my granddaughter, <laughs> um, I do two faces on one page. And let me show you the difference in size, just so you see why. So, <clears throat> here's a size of the portraits that I usually do, right? This is on a 9 by 12 and again, it's a little flashed out, but you can kind of get the idea. So this is on a 9 by 12. And now you're going to see, a, this is the one I did a Boo and her friend. See how small they are? So this is Boo and her best friend. It's in a plastic sleeve. 
but anyway so this is why I do them this big to get this detail you can't get that detail in such a tiny space well you, you know that's decent I mean it's a good I'm not saying it's not but this is the size I like to work in and this is the size that um, uh, my commissions are so um, yeah but there's Boo and her best friend. This is what Boo wanted me to do. She's giving this to her best friend. You can't see the little freckles and stuff in there. Um, well, it's in his plastic sleeve. But anyway, she got the little freckles and everything. So anyway, this uh, finish that. But this is the size my commissions are in. Just so y'all know um, that this is the size of my commissions. Let me show you a couple other ones in here. I know I've shown them before, but let me, I'll just pick out a couple here so you can see. And again, the color is a little flashed out because it's so bright in here. Let me see if I can get the true color a little better. There we go. There we go. That's better. Let me pull Boo back over here again because that's, there's, that's better color right there. There we go. the white paper of the color book page wants to flash. I'll just show you a few here just so y'all can see some of my work. <clears throat> so yeah. There's just a few. I've got y'all. I've gone through them, tons of them for you before. Here's a funny one here. There's one to leave you with. <laughs> There's one to leave you with. <laughs> uh, you, um, Kimberly, you email me if you want particulars. Yeah, email me. <laughs> so yeah, this one I actually did. I worked on this one while I'm jury duty last spring. I had jury duty, so uh, I did her while working. <laughs> well, I uh, jury duty. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so anyway, guys, that's uh, that's what I do when you don't see me streaming. Okay, <laughs> that's what I'm doing. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and stop this, guys. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed just doing a little bit of work in here. Uh, I'm going to stop the recording, but y'all hang out for a minute. And, um, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, and if you're watching on um, YouTube, don't forget, I have a um, giveaway for the YouTubers. Well, anybody that watches the videos, go over to YouTube. I mean, go over to my blog, Inkywell, I-N-K-I, Inkywell dot blogspot.com it's already put up and i'm giving away where is it oh. uh, where did i get it over right here oh. i'm giving away the bennett klein sketchbook one over on my blog okay thanks yeah they are better yeah julie everybody says that they're better in person um julie i did both of her grandchildren so thanks guys so if you go over to my blog uh you youtubers go especially because i already gave away one here go over to my uh, blog and and just leave a comment i want to win happy birthday Dee Dee, or whatever you want to say and the, you will be entered okay there's it's the top it's right on the top of my blog so you have till friday and then at Friday, I'll end that. And then Monday, we'll do the giveaway for you YouTubers and anybody watching the recordings. All right? So we'll do that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stop this video. Thanks for being here, guys. And if you want to stick around for just a minute, if you're here live, I will do a couple little show and tell real quick. <laughs> One of these, I mean, I'm, I've done some studio tours and stuff, so it's not like, you know, but I, I'll just, um, yeah, hang loose. Okay, thanks, guys.